NBA Youngboy has never been a fan of the industry, but in one song in particular, he threw shade at everyone. Here's how NBA Youngboy dissed the whole industry. NBA Youngboy. Rappers and fans alike know of NBA Youngboy. The rapper is hard to miss, especially since he's gained meteoric popularity after the release of his mixtapes and singles that dropped between 2015 and 2017. His sultry vocals and the mysterious vibe created by his demeanor have captured the attention of the public for years, but have come to bring out his harshest enemies in the industry in one particular song. Everyone knows he's had beef over the years, as well as some legal issues that began in 2016. But NBA Youngboy decided he'd rather have the entire industry as his ops. Maybe it was because he's one of the three most popular artists to have a chart-topping album while incarcerated, or maybe it's just because he thinks he's better. No matter the reason, NBA Youngboy threw shade at everyone in the rap game in his single Fuck the Industry Part 2. Calling out. NBA Youngboy has taken aim at almost everyone in the industry in his latest release on May 12th, a song that he decided to appropriately name Fuck the Industry Part 2. He's called out almost every big name rapper and has gone through them one by one, dissing each rapper appropriately. If Youngboy wanted to make enemies, this was how to do it, and he didn't hesitate. Drake being the first target of his rap battle, he went on to reference some of Drake's issues. Drake, young boy started off by calling Drake some profanities as well as making it clear that Drake is his enemy. NBA young boy isn't a friend with the industry, so he went in on Drake, saying that Drake would fuck with Dirk, but not work anything out with young boy despite liking his music. He also called out Drake's relationship with Lil Durk, saying that even though Drake talked highly of Youngboy's music, he still refused to courteously work with him. The reason for this is that Drizzy has collaborated with Lil Durk many times in recent years, including on Laugh Now, Cry Later, and in the Bible. But apparently NBA Youngboy didn't take kindly to this, especially since Drake was working with his ops but wouldn't work with him. J. Cole. If you thought Youngboy was done, he'd only just begun. Targeting J. Cole next. He called him a hoe for ghosting them after they had planned to work together. NBA Youngboy is making his thoughts about the industry very clear in this track, but he doesn't stop there. According to other insiders, though, Youngboy might have been the one ghosting J. Cole. J. Cole had allegedly waited in the studio for eight hours for NBA Youngboy to show up and Act commented on it, clearly siding with J. Cole. But even though more information from the situation is developing, NBA Youngboy wasn't about to let his enemies win because he still manages to slide his diss back into the track, making sure to shove salt into the wound and go after yet another rapper. And this one actually responded, Lil Yachty. Lil Yachty mad, said NBA Youngboy on his song. Play with me, Lil Yachty mad about JT. Rapping that he's mad about NBA Youngboy over JT. While this was confusing to many fans, the confusion only increased when Yachty spoke out on Twitter, posting a short clip of 50 Cent as a reaction to the music video. Why in the world was NBA Youngboy bringing him into this? According to Youngboy, who quickly made a video in response, Yachty had checked NBA Youngboy when he had been shooting his shot at JT while the two were still together. So NBA Youngboy used the opportunity to shoot a diss back at him, calling him crazy, and that he better stay out of Youngboy's way. It looks like Lil Yachty got a bit of a beating in this rap battle, proving that you don't mess with NBA Youngboy when he's going at the whole industry. While we've yet to see any of these rappers respond with disses of their own, this track went off on the entire industry. NBA Youngboy wasn't about to let any rappers take advantage of him, and it seems like he's making sure that he's coming out of this battle on top, even if it means also coming out out of it with a few more enemies. From going after Drake to J. Cole and even Lil Yachty, NBA Youngboy made sure to put all of them in their place on his track.